too much of a good thing isn't always a good thing. And in fact, it may even be worse than if you didn't even do that thing in the first place. So in this video, I'm going to break down why TRT isn't all what it's cracked up to be. And then I'm gonna give you some alternative options at the end of this video that you can use to help improve your testosterone levels. This is simply data that I have gathered from helping hundreds of people, hundreds of men specifically, increase their testosterone. And if you're interested in something like that, check that link down below with our community to help boost your testosterone. To get into it, the first reason why testosterone replacement therapy is not a good option is the fact that it's synthetic. See, testosterone is a natural hormone that is produced in our body specifically by the testes or testicles, right? The testes actually produce the hormone itself of testosterone, but there's also another spot up in your brain uh, where most hormones are produced, your pituitary gland. And so what this does is it sends signals down to your testes to produce more, and this signal back and forth is being sent. What happens when you put more synthetic testosterone in is your body's like, yo, hey, for some reason we have like an influx of testosterone. And so then your pituitary gland stops sending the materials that it needs to your testes to produce. And so what happens is your testes actually reduce in size. That is particularly one major downfall to testosterone replacement therapy is the fact that your body's going to stop being good at producing testosterone naturally. And instead you're going to have have to depend on that testosterone replacement therapy, that supplement for the rest of your life. The second reason why you should reconsider using testosterone replacement therapy is the fact that you will experience mood swings. So if your testosterone is already so low naturally and you need to get on this replacement in order to increase your levels, you will see a dramatic increase in your mood, whether that's happy, sad, frustrated, angry, whatever it is, you will experience different types of mood. And so if you're with a partner or spouse or whoever it is, like make sure to let them know that, hey, I'm undergoing this, I'm messing with my hormones and my emotions are going to be different. This once again could be a good thing, but it also could lead to a bad thing if you start to become over aggressive, if you start to become over emotional where you're sad or um, if you're angry all the time, whatever your case may be, I don't know. You just need to be cautious of that before you fully dive deep into this. The third reason why you may need to reconsider TRT is your hair. And I'm not just talking about your head hair. No, I'm talking about all of your hair around your body. See, testosterone, the hormone, is that male reproductive hormone that allows for the male to produce things like hair growth, um, really just give masculine features. What's going to happen is you are actually going to see more hair growth on your entire body. When you have low testosterone, you have less hair growth on your body body more around kind of your head, think of a female, right? They have little to no hair on their body, a lot of hair on their head. If you want to go the opposite of female, now male, you have a little bit of hair on your head, a lot on your body. And so what you're going to see is an influx of hair, let's say on your back, on your abdomen, around your private parts, and you'll see a reduction of hair growth around your head. This is where you start to see male powder and baldness. And this comes, um, you know, specifically around that top of the head and it could spread apart depending on your genetics and where your body um, delegates those hormones. And so this could be an issue. If you don't want a lot of hair on your body, well, you may need to reconsider. If you don't want to potentially become bald, then you may need to reconsider and instead go for alternatives because that is something that is a warning that you probably need to know about. The fourth reason is actually kind of a big one and something that a lot of people overlook. If you go on testosterone replacement therapy, what it does is it regulates your blood, specifically your red blood cells. And this is what's produced in the bone marrow of your bones, and it allows for more production of red blood cells. Now you could think, oh, well, more blood and more red blood cells, that sounds like a good thing, which most of the time, yes, it is, until it's in excess. And if you have too much red blood cells going around, then they can start to form clots. And if your cardiovascular system is not to where it needs to be and you're not doing um, daily running, walking, if you're not actively like working out and getting a sweat on, then your circulation of your red blood cells probably won't be very efficient. And so you will start to see buildups, potentially clots, which then can lead to strokes and other things that just aren't going to be beneficial, obviously. And so that is something to be aware of. The fact that yes, you will have more red blood cells being produced. Sounds like a good thing. Uh, but if left 
unlooked and unchecked, it can lead to a bad thing. And so just making sure that you are checking those levels is very important. And the fifth reason, and probably the most, I guess, alarming reason that you may not need to go on TRT, uh, for me specifically, maybe not in your case, is infertility. And you can and most likely will have issues with fertility when you go on testosterone replacement therapy. Like we said in that point number one, where your testosterone is produced in your testes, and if your testes are not being used, then they become reduced. This is also where sperm is created. And sperm is obviously that reproductive mechanism that the male uses to create babies and create offspring. And if you do not have the capabilities to produce quality sperm because your balls are shriveled, then unfortunately you're not going to be able to have the children that you want to have. That is a major possibility. And so I told you guys that I would give you some alternative methods and things that you can do in order to increase your testosterone with not synthetic TRT, but instead naturally with just everyday items that you can see around your house, outside, food that you intake, all of that sort of stuff. And yes, you are gonna get that and it's gonna be right here in this video.